Four zero love poems, and it's one dollar. It's one dollar. It's one dollar. One dollar on the Kindle store. So the link is in the description. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. Now check that out. We're trying to get to 100 units sold. So any contribution to that goal would be greatly appreciated. It's an amazing way to support me. So link is in the description. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes can be available. Like you'll see today's title. I thought about it just now, and I was like, "This title's wild," but I enjoy it. It's fun. It's fun coming up with these sort of things. You, know? you gotta have a sense of humor, guys. You can't take everything too seriously. I can just imagine some people getting upset. I think most people, well, for most of my titles, uh, find them funny. I think. I've rarely gotten complaints. I think there was one video. <laughs> there was one video that wasn't received too well. I don't, I'm speculating that the title might have been, um, I think I released it last week or something. It did not do well. The views were not great. I'm, part of me wonders if it's the title or if it's just the thumbnail. You know, sometimes your videos just don't do well. I've had videos where I wasn't really doing anything. crazy or perceived to be controversial and they, they they didn't do well. So you never know the true reason why a video flops. But in that particular video, I used the R word in the title. I, I'm, I'm, YouTube, you know how YouTube is very sensitive. You can get banned for the, the, the smallest things. So I'm not going to use the word here just because, you know, I don't know. I think I've, used, I've heard other people use it on their YouTube channels, but I'm not taking a chance. R-E-T-A-R-D-E-D, -E -E -E, you know that word. Uh, uh, that, that one. Uh, I used that in my title and the video didn't do well, so I was wondering, is it because I used that word? People are just like, oh no. I'm not sure. Um, so I do think there are lines you shouldn't cross, maybe. Well. In the view of other people, at least. If I was on another platform, maybe I, 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 I'd, I'd love to have a, a following on X. I just feel like X is a lot more uh, rock and roll. But, uh, yeah, easier said than done building. It took a lot of time to build this volume in YouTube, and you know, it's not guaranteed you can replicate that success elsewhere using the same methods. So, you know, you work with what you have, you work with what you have. Anywho, I do have to be careful. I will acknowledge that I do have to be careful, but I think I'm within bounds. Even though this title for this video is, <laughs> it's kind of wild. I do think I'm within bounds. I don't think I've, I've crossed the crazy line. But I do think uh, you have to be. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'll space them out because you know sometimes it'll just be one after the other, just boom, 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 boom crazy titles, crazy titles. I think I should have normal titles every like for the most part of it every now and then. Just mm, hit you with some some ridiculous. It's funny, man. It's just, you have to have a sense of humor. I was just thinking about that. You know, yesterday I was watching this this Japanese girl. She was playing GTA. Learn, you know, the whole premise behind her video is that I'm learning English through GTA 5. And it's a, such a hilarious premise because if you, if you know anything about Grand Theft Auto, it's such a violent and vulgar game. So it's a terrible way to learn English. But that's what made it entertaining. Like, you just have these, like, NPCs that you're like, fuck you! Da, 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 da. <laughs> she's learning all these terrible words and terms and she's like running around stabbing people and uh, running over people with cars it's hel hilarious but to enjoy that sort of stuff you have to have a sense of humor you can't take it too seriously man. well so you're, you're just going to blow a gasket you're going oh no I can't believe this is happening and <laughs> relax relax it's jokes it's it really is really it's okay guys not, not not everything has these grave Im implications like you can afford to laugh here and there i believe god has a sense of humor i think when you look at people's lives and and the the the, the events that unfold sometimes unfortunate events that unfold you, you're like this Someone's playing a prank on me. And I believe in God. I do think God has has a great laugh sometimes when he's dealing with us. When he's dealing with this like unruly human population. I think he cracks to himself. And I think you should have a sense of humor as well. Or else you'll go crazy. Think about the world we're in and all the trouble that's constantly around us. If you can't laugh, you're going to go nuts. Some people who've been in the worst possible situations, like, like think about like just the worst situation that you can imagine, still come out with a sense of humor because it's, it's, it's also serves as a, as a way to heal, to process things. So, you know, humor can be a tool. So now we need to figure out how I'm going to keep this phone propped up without it falling constantly. So maybe, maybe, uh, like this. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that holds. No. I think the beanie is a better option. So I'll put it And then maybe I can put something in front of it. Sacrifice one of my chopsticks, so now I have to get another chopstick. I was thinking about doing a thing where I share songs daily, like uh, whatever I'm listening to on my community tab. Like, uh, I mean, what I mean by that is, like whatever I'm listening to, I could do like a song of the day type of thing. I thought that'd be interesting. Maybe not. I don't wanna make it a thing. But sometimes you're not up to it, you don't feel like it. But I am enjoying sharing good, good music. We need to start sharing good music because I think rap is, is defining it might be replaced at least in the states it'll be replaced it seems like it will be replaced by country music unless there's some sort of revival 
people are just getting tired, man. People are getting tired. People are growing up, you know. As I've matured, listening to some of these rap lyrics just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Can you hear the sort of things you're talking about? I think the issue with a lot of rappers, they stay in per- perpetual childhood where it's like they're chasing money and sex and drugs and all this hedonism. And they never really grow out of it and start talking about things of substance. It's just like... Percocet, Molly Percocet. Like Future, how old is Future talking about Molly's and Percocet? It's embarrassing. Um, so, you know... That's not all rappers, of course, but if you're talking about rap's position in the mainstream, that's a lot of the stuff you get from the mainstream rappers. So then people are just people the, the audience that used to like that they've, they're growing up and it's reflecting in the numbers and the streaming revenue and stuff like that like it's going down then true booming and future can't fill out stadiums anymore they can't sell out their shows so the people are just growing tired and of it like so I think it's important for us to start sharing like good music that is wholesome. At the very least, doesn't promote degeneracy. Because we're growing up, man. You have to ask us about what kind of adults do you want to be. Now, I will say not everything is um, meant to be taken too seriously. We can have fun here and there. I can listen to a good rap banger every now and then, but I, I, I'm just jaded, man. I think I think you can have the turn up qualities while also refraining from debauchery degeneracy I think it's possible I'm, I'm learning as well because I make rap music it's not the only genre I, 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 I make but I'm learning to Yes, be aggressive here and there. There's such a, a, in my view, vital component of rap, that aggressive competitive nature, energy. But I'm learning to, to, to keep that under control and not, not go too far. <laughs> you know, in the past, of in songs, I listen to my, my old music and I'll be hearing songs where I threaten, threaten to beat people up. I've never, I've never like, gone as far as to imply I'm some sort of gangster or anything like that. That That's ridiculous. Uh, that's never been my life and I'm grateful for that. But you know, sometimes you, you tap into that aggressive energy and you start being like, I'll smack you if you talk to me crazy. It's like, okay, okay, calm down, buddy. <laughs> calm down, buddy. You're not that guy. I'm not a violent person. I have a very high tolerance for nonsense. It takes a lot for me to really, really get angry with like people, uh, it, like it, to 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 confront someone physically. I, it's never happened actually. Uh, there was one situation in high school where this guy was picking on me, and I just knew if I don't do something now, this guy's gonna keep on picking on. So I I had to like I I just shoved him, and then we started like wrestling a little bit then people pulled us apart it never went beyond that he never punched me i never punched him and we were actually quite friendly afterwards so you know mission accomplished he stopped he stopped messing with me but 
I didn't even do it out of anger. It was it was just a calculation. I was just like, if I don't do something, he's going to keep on doing this. So I've never had that thing. A lot of, you know, part of me admires it to an extent. I, I, I do think it can be detrimental. I think it's mostly detrimental, but there is a part of me that admires that as that aspect in a lot of guys where they can just see some like you can just annoy them and they just like 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 switch because it can be useful in certain situations because the issue with my disposition is that maybe I could end up letting certain things slide that I shouldn't let slide. I don't know. It's a tricky balance to achieve, man. What do you let go versus what do you um, tolerate? I mean, what do you uh, act out against? There's this uh, very famous UFC and uh, it's just MMA fighter, Demetrius Johnson. He's a champion. Everyone knows he's got hands. He, he will fuck up most people on this earth. Doesn't matter who you are, how big you are. He's a, he's a very short guy, but yeah, yeah. Even the biggest dudes. would be in serious trouble against a man like him. He's very skilled in violence. But he was saying that if, a, if, he's, if he's walking in the street and a guy says to his girl, hey, nice tits, he said he's not gonna do anything because it's not worth it. Even if his girl is like, you need to hit him, you need to punch him, he said, I won't do anything because... I think he's very familiar with violence. He's, he, he's a MMA fighter. He's lived in the world of violence. He understands how far things can go and how dangerous that is. So I guess his perspective is this. it's not, if you can avoid it, just avoid it. I guess that's my perspective as well. It takes a lot for me to get seriously, seriously angry. Like with strangers. Like obviously here at home, people get on my nerves all the time. Like my brother, me and my brother, you know, yeah, we would, we've never punched each other or anything that crazy, but we've had like, moments where we tussled like i think two times in our lives we had very heated moments where we like grabbed each other but it never went beyond that so my brother can't he can get on my nerves but i know him and he he knows which buttons to push <laughs> and i know it's just different with family i guess I, I really don't care about the opinion of some strangers so Button's just not available for them. Like, even if you know a button to push, like, it's closed. You can't push it. So, I don't know, dude. I think a lot of fights, like, when I, when I see guys scrapping, like, fighting, a lot of the time, it's very much avoidable. Most fights. Most fights just require one person to be like, I'm not doing this with you. Obviously, if someone attacks you, like actually instigates violence, then you have to defend yourself. You can't just let it happen. But in most cases, if you just like if you just say if you just refuse to engage, the other person, especially if they're witnesses, the other person has no choice but to just like back off because they're gonna look crazy. Anyway, I went on a tangent. I was saying all that to, to illustrate the point that that's why it doesn't make sense for me to uh, uh, assume this very aggressive persona sometimes in, 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 in my raps. I mean, that, that, that I have that, but it's like, I think, I think uh, every masculine man has that within him. But I, I do need to toe the line. Like, don't go too far because you just, you're just going to start lying. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I've, I've done that in the past. It's just, it's, it's embarrassing, but it's also a bit funny to think about because I know myself. I'm, I'm not, I'm not some, some gangster or anything like that. But yeah, I've never threatened to kill anyone or anything like that. That's, that's ridiculous. You know, with rap, it's tricky because you do use metaphorical language. So, for example, you know, in rap, you'll be like, oh. Uh, I'll, I'll murder all these rappers. Da, 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 da. That's not ever meant in, le in the literal sense because rap is very competitive. So when they say I'll murder all these rappers, it's not like literally going to kill people. It's like 
We're talking about lyrical competition. We're talking about I'll make better music than you. So sometimes that can be misconstrued by some people, but I, I do think generally speaking, people can tell the difference when someone's being metaphorical and being literal. Like when when Twenty One Savage is saying like we made mothers cry because their sons are not here anymore. Like that's not a metaphor. That's <laughs> he's talking about murder, and I yeah that 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 if that's true, oof. Uh, that's be- I guess that's between you and God. I, I don't know how people are just walking free, admitting this sort of stuff on on on, on songs, bro. Admitting to blatant murder. Um, that's why I don't listen to a lot of that stuff anymore. I try not to, at least. It's weird. Like, how's this a lot? How do how do we just say these things and people just accept it? It's like what? So that's why, you know, that's why with the whole free young thug movement, like free young thug, free young thug, I'm like, okay, wait, let, let's ask important questions. Is he guilty? Did he actually do the things he's being accused of? If so, then why would you free him? <laughs> you can't say because he's my friend, I want him to be out of jail. That's not how this works. That's not how the legal system works. Do you know how many people's friends are in jail? You think we're just going to let them all go because people want them to go? No, like they committed crimes. There's such a thing called justice. So I don't know, dude. I'm not saying he should be in jail. I'm just saying if he is indeed guilty, you can't just let him go because he's your buddy. That's ridiculous, man. But apparently the judge presiding over his case is being very unfair. And apparently district attorney Fonnie Willis is also... She is a mess. She's got a whole. She's also, she was also in charge of prosecuting Trump as well, and that was, yeah, she's corrupt, dude. So apparently, she's the same woman also involved in some capacity in the Young Thug case as well. And I wouldn't be surprised to find out there's corruption there as well. But um, anyway, if he's innocent, then of course he should be free. But I think. Uh, it's, it's hard to say these days uh, justice will take its close because the courts are corrupt, so you, you, you never know, man. But I think we should have at, at least some faith in the legal system, or, or else what's the point? So, you know, if he did it, if he did the things he's accused of, no, don't free him. <laughs> That's terrible. You can't free a criminal. Because you know what I think about, right? I think about the family members of these people who are victims. These people who are killed or or robbed or beaten up, whatever the case may be, victimized by these guys who brag about their crimes on music. I'm like, shouldn't they get justice? If if you're the mother of a, of a, of a guy who was killed by some rapper and then the rapper is bragging about it on songs and that song goes number one, imagine what that does to you mentally. There was a rapper, um, what is his name? He used to hang out with Lil Durk, uh, King Vaughn or something. I don't know, one of those. He was a serial killer. He was literally a serial killer. He was killing lots of people, one after the other. That is a serial killer. And people were celebrating him. And when he died, everyone was like, acting like he's some sort of hero. I'm just thinking about the parents of the whose children were killed by this guy and he's got number one songs bragging about it not dude that's mental so yeah rap deserves its decline right now it does need a rebranding it does need um some revitalization i'm cool with it either way whether it's number one whether it it, it falls all the way to the back. I don't care. Because as as much as I love hip-hop and uh, I make a lot of it, that's, pr- that's probably the most music I do make. If you listen to my catalog, it's mostly rap. But it's not the only thing I make, so I'm, I'm good either way. I, I love making love songs. I love singing. I love making electronic music. It's 
obviously like your house music. I love the alternative stuff. I love making that. So, you know, I'm good. It is not... The decline of rap is not an existential threat to me. I mean, not to suggest I have some sort of budding career. Well, not to suggest I have some sort of established career or anything, but... It wouldn't affect my growth and my goals if rap declined. I just I just think it's time for a change, man. It's just time for a change, a serious change. Enough is enough. Isolated. I've created a list. Let me say this: I've created a list of videos that, I, that I've noticed are doing well, and I've got about five so far. So I'm just gonna keep those on rotation. Like five different styles of videos. I've noticed that this style, where I put the phone in this perspective and I just do triggers on the table, tends to do well. The up close, where the camera is close to my face, does well. Uh, the scratching you does well when I just scratch you. I just scratch the phone. There's another one. Forgetting. Um, which one is it? Let me check my phone. Because I wrote it down. Yeah, let's see. Oh, cleaning you as well. When I do the cleaning, I take this little spray bottle. Spray, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. That tends to do well. I think I've got a couple more that uh, I've seen tend to do well. Obviously, the toilet roll trigger. It's my most successful concept of uh, the trigger. So I'm taking a break from it because I was spamming it for a while and people are tired. <laughs> but um, I might throw that in as well to throw the roll. And then, yeah, I need to, I, I do need to get better at um, just sticking to what works. Sometimes I, I, I try too many different things and I end up missing because I'll be having a, a, a nice steady rhythm of doing well, videos doing well. Then I'll, I'll try something and then, you know, the views tank. So I need to stop doing that. It, it, it affects the flow. So, I mean, I've said this many times before. It's just that, you know, sometimes you get impatient, you're just like, what if I do this and it, 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 it gets, gets even more reviews or whatnot, but I was spamming the toilet World trigger for a long time and then eventually got 100,000 views, one of the videos, so if I, if I, I think if I stick to the, the routine, eventually it'll pay off. So now I found a nice mixture so before the issue was that it was just the toilet while I was just spamming that over and over and over and over again I think it gets it gets a bit stale. Now I've got a nice I've found a way to maintain the, the same view count, the general the same general view count while having a variation. So it's not gonna be the same thing. So I can have different styles of video and they they all do well so which is what I was looking for. I was looking for that. So now I have that so I just need to like be disciplined and maintain that. We'll see. Oh, another one, another one is the the tingle storm where I where I put the, the phone down and I just drop things like like usually I just drop these toilet rolls like and then I just ruffle them all over the camera. That that tends to do well as well. That tends to 
get good viewership. So, well, that might be sitting at seven or that. Well, but now I'm forgetting. Okay, let me add a toilet roll. So that's six with toilet roll. Maybe if I find one more, I'll be sitting at seven. You can give me suggestions below of what you think would work. I'm just I'm trying to stick to what works. I'm, try, I'm trying to stick to what Blessing this person with wonderful people in our life who love them, take care of them, and bring the absolute best out of them. And thank you so much, and the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with love and marriage and sustaining the love and marriage and making it very, 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 very happy. Thank you for blessing this person with a spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful things in their life. And by giving thanks, they can find peace, contentment, and attract you more blessings. Let your presence be felt in this person's life. So that your God, that you feel that you love them. And you're always going to be there for them. Good health, all life, and happiness over this person. Everyone that you care about in your mind, and pray in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, 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 amen.